Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about something that I think you will find pretty interesting and it's about when to start speaking a foreign language. This is one of the most common uh, questions that I get asked, asked out, that I get asked out there and I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good one at that. So let's talk about when to speak. There are normally two schools of thought that are at the extreme sides of the spectrum and then there's a lot of positions in between. Uh, according to the first school of thought you should speak from the very beginning. Now let's analyze pros and cons. Um, the pros are that the sooner you do something the better you uh, become uh, at it. For example this goes for speaking or other skills like swimming, uh, walking, running, uh, you name it. On the other hand though, uh, the cons are the detractors of this uh, school of thought say that the moment you speak uh, without knowing much, you don't have words uh, to express yourself, you don't understand, and then you have all sorts of uh, psychological barriers, especially for adults who are normally scared of speaking. Uh, the experience can be traumatic if you stumble upon uh, someone who's not uh, who's not very helpful, uh, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, according to the other school of thought, uh, which says that you should get a lot of input before uh, before speaking, before uh, making any attempt at speaking, the pros are undoubtedly that you have a lot of input, so you have a lot of words, and you have been listening to the language for a long time, so you will surely have a better listening uh, comprehension than those who uh, have not done all that. Um, but the cons are that uh, if you start doing that, if you start uh, exposing yourself to a lot of content, which is fantastic, then the moment of speaking might not be that <laughs> easy in the sense that you keep telling yourself, well, I have to listen to some more stuff before I speak, etc., etc. And even when that happens, you will figure out that there's a big gap between uh, your uh, speaking skills and uh, your uh, listening skills. What do I think about this? Well, I think that uh, you should do whatever uh, you want, meaning there is no best method, there is no ideal situation. It depends on a number of things. Let me break it down into um, two main factors. The objective factor is the language distance, that is the distance between the language uh, your mother tongue and the language you're trying to learn. For example, if I'm an Italian and I want to learn Spanish, Spanish is a relatively close language to Italian, so it might be actually a good idea to start speaking from the very beginning because the structures are really similar and I don't have to make that um, many efforts in order to express myself. On the other hand, in languages which are really, really uh, distant, um, especially in terms of syntax, because syntax, that is the way we form sentences really plays a big role in the way we express ourselves and the amount of mental energy that we have to put. Well, in that case, you might wait a little bit before, uh, before speaking. So this is the objective factor language distance. On the other hand, the subjective factor depends on the individual, that is, depends on you. Uh, meaning that, uh, you know, the choice of speaking depends on a number of things that depend on your language experience, uh, on the languages you already speak, on your mindset. If you're an experienced language learner who had a lot of experience speaking uh, with people from the very beginning or even after a little bit, well, you can decide and ponder and and uh, and uh, decide the, the, the best thing for you. Um, whatever, whatever you decide when you start, when you start speaking with someone, make sure that, this is the final tip, make sure that you find someone who is helpful and who is willing to help you. This is really important because if you find someone who's not willing to, uh, to help you or he's, uh, he's a little bit difficult or, uh, or whatever, uh, that's not, uh, that's not going to be very good. So, um, that goes without saying, uh, you know, communication uh, joyful communication and feedback can do wonders to your language, uh, for your language uh, skills, in particular speaking skills. Uh, two more things uh, before I go. What kind of learner are you? I'm, I'm wondering what happened in your life, uh, and uh, not the whole story, but just let me know when it comes to speaking, your experience. If you had traumatic experiences, or if you, spoken, you, you normally speak from the very beginning, or you wait a little bit, I'm really eager to hear uh, what you have to say. And if you do that on the blog, that's even better. You can obviously write comments here on YouTube. Because um, uh, Kevin and I, my friend Kevin uh, Morehouse, and I wrote, uh, I think, an awesome article about this and uh, it would be great if you drop by, if you swing by and drop a couple of uh, comments. You can see the article by clicking on the, uh, the link in the description box. Thank you very much for listening to me and uh, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.